Let's take a peek and see what Merc was talking about. How much? Okay, we got 21,000. What is up, my fellow reptiles? I know I'm streaming Trove rather early. I don't care. Where's my notification squad? What's going on with YouTube? YouTube's so broken lately, dude. Like, it legit doesn't seem to work. It's hilarious. Okay, so Merc was saying that we should be able to afford this ultra fixture. Which one did he mean? Did he mean the efficiency one? Ah... Yes, that would actually be very nice. I guess we can try it out. Where are my notification squad at? What's going on? Why YouTube so broken? There's a couple of you guys, but that's it. What is this? Also, I'm noticing YouTube's like kind of changed up the uh, live stream chat, hasn't it? Like, it's not as reliable. What is this? What has YouTube done? It's like your messages just appear. Like, there, there's nothing fancy to it anymore. Okay, well, anyways, uh, this was our ultra fixture. We got a little dude up there and that thing right up front. Rip! Yeah, I'm gonna go check Luxian. I gotta have that video. Uh, I gotta get a video for that, actually, to come out. But, let's upgrade. 17,000. Sure, let's do it. So that'll remove all of our build stuff. Except that stuff, apparently. What does an ultra fixture look like? Kind of cool, I guess. The clue bit thing up, moved up. Well, either way, Merc and I will have to change that thing up a bit. That ought to make things a lot cheaper in the club. Means we should start saving those uh, cubits. Right? Alright, let's go take a peek at uh, stupid old... Wait a minute. I want I want to use a shadow phone here. Even though there's like nobody playing this game right now. <laughs> Streaming on YouTube.com slash Seth Plays, yo. Are you the Lizard King? Yes, my brother. I am. Join the cause, subscribe now, and become part of the Reptile Kingdom. Is this guy Garbles? He's Garbles. <laughs> Why? Standard signs? Are you kidding me? We can't even scroll down to get anything. Sentient shards make a return. Whatever. And I'm overly curious because how, how many of these do we even need? For the dragon again? It's like, we only need five. So can we buy more than five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we can buy more than five. But I'm pretty sure they loot collect into four dragon coins. So we should be okay. There we go. Mastery rank up. New dumb dragon. I guess I'll favorite him just because of how difficult he is. And rip. I'll leave you yab yab out of my inventory. Tried to pronounce my name. Cow. I did it. <laughs> I think. Uh, what is this? We better get our four dragon coins back. Yeah, okay, we do. Well, that means just for fun, you could continuously get all of his dragon coins just to dismantle them. Uh, <clears throat> I love how live captions is correctly spelling garbles. Really? That's not even a word. What if I just say, like, a bunch of gibberish? Does it live caption that well? <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the live caption is doing anything right. Luxian's here, and we finally get the maxed out dragon. Ooh. Yeah, so exciting. Not really, though. Poopsie, please. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing good. 
but not really much of a but i just woke up so i'm kind of like ugh, i'm zombified that's what happens to us reptiles in the morning because we're cold-blooded creatures and it's really cold here so i need to heat up but here's the thing that's kind of exciting is did you guys know that the spyro remastered ended up coming out that game was my jam as a kid like seriously I, I i played that game when i was like eight years old or something so i have it haven't had the time to record it yet um just in case you guys actually like really like that game i, I just want to give you a heads up that what i'm planning to do and i could possibly do this in the future this is why this is relevant to even mentioning it with trove right now is what i possibly can do is live stream while i'm recording the series so it's like what i would end up doing is essentially i would be live streaming not responding to chat i would be doing this on twitch.tv slash size plays of course and with it i would just be recording an episode and you guys would be able to actually see it behind the scenes live uh before it even ends up going uploaded and stuff like that so before editing, before blah, 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 uh, it's like right now, what I should possibly end up doing is the Luxian video, right? That's kind of the idea. Where is, there's a dungeon. Oh yeah, I guess I should, does he have cool fireballs? Yeah, he does. He's got flux coming out of it. He's still kind of stupid. The good thing about him though, over even uh, Yab Yab, is that we can actually just start attacking and we'll get thrown off of the mount. Which, I prefer that. What is your favorite class? I guess Shadowhunter and Vanguard? Whee! I mean, I should be playing Vanguard. He's really, really cool. But I don't know, man. I've been waiting for, like, a real costume of his. So that I'm not just using mods all the time. Like, that's a thing. They better actually bother to rebalance the classes, dude. Which dragon would you recommend for farming? Uh, the the Forbidden Spires dragon is probably the easiest because it doesn't require any dragon coins. Oh my gosh, this stupid game and its lag. Let me just blast my way straight up. Like, did you see that? Just getting caught on the corner over and over? Jeez Louise. I gotta do another stream later today as well. Possibly after this, we'll see. Uh, but I need to do some map zap. Because I need to do... Uh, I've been able to actually do the Chaos Raids. And I want to actually do one of those on stream with you guys. I need to get one of them before the Daily Reset. Uh, although I do have a video already recorded. I just got to put uh, commentary over top of it. Because it was just gameplay. Uh, of me doing my first Chaos Raid. There's a lot of crazy stuff that's been happening with MapleStory, dude. Like, seriously. Hi, Jan! Hi, everybody else that I didn't catch and say hello to, by the way. I need to destroy this man. Bloop. Uh, oh, you guys aren't telling me about my tomes. This is a tome stream and you're not telling me. What? If you can download mods other than Trovesaurus, either site is bugged or can't open for some reason. That, uh, that might just be you. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Um... Speaking of, wait, what was, there was, uh, something, something you were saying that made me think of something else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I'm not allowed to stream it, unfortunately, but do you guys know that game Torchlight? So, in short, Torchlight is kind of a top-down, uh, very similar to MapleStory, but more so similar to Diablo. And it's kind of like a chibier version. Torchlight 1, for some weird reason, the, though it was a good game, it was not multiplayer. Torchlight 2, however, did end up adding multiplayer. I never really got into it, though, because unfortunately they had it come out somewhere around the same time that Diablo 3 and Path of Exile and all these better alternatives ended up coming out, right? Now, their next project is Torchlight Frontiers, and that's actually going to be a free-to-play model. So it's going to be very pay to win. They, uh, it's funny because they say that it's not, but it is. You look at the fine print and it's like you're going to be able to buy XP boosters, uh, luck boosters, and stuff like that. And uh, either way, it's cool. I'm interested in it. Definitely want to start a series on it because you know I love my free-to-play games. And uh, it's, it, I, I got into the alpha. 
So I thought that was really cool. I've never actually been accepted into an alpha of anything, but it means that unfortunately I can't make a video on it. Cal the Comic, thank you very much for the 99 cents through Super Chat. Bing bong, you are the king of the reptiles. Just kidding, I'll make you my second in command for this stream. I was curious, what's your opinion? Is Shadowhunter useless for Ultra Towers? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I'll just openly say it. Like, he's not good. Like, you can use him in the earlier Ultra Towers, but it's like... Nah. Not, not really. <laughs> Come on, Luxian. What's happening? Because he's an old man, get it? He's already been here for a million years, and he's just got garbage all the time. Um, your name popped out. Oh, did his name show up in the stream? Good. That's what's supposed to happen. Sometimes, sometimes the stream doesn't do that, and it's always frustrating because it's like, no. They need the recognition immortalized in the form of video. But I'm not playing with headphones, so I can't hear anything. It probably made a loud noise, too. Where's the comments video? Well, as I said in the last comments video, those are done. I They take too long to edit, man. I, I didn't have the time nor the patience to continue those videos, unfortunately. Uh, Scythe, you by any chance know uh, if I can change my payment method for the channel membership while keeping it active? Or do I have to cancel it, then join again? I wouldn't know. I would assume you just go and change your method right now while you still have the membership. Because otherwise that'd be silly if you had to cancel in order to change the method. Like, it should just be something that you just change. But I wouldn't know about that, Jan. I'd say to just go and check. Like, maybe if you just change your method, that's it. I don't know why you got destroyed, safe buckle. Because there was too many letters, I guess. Why are you wearing a hat? I don't know. Because why not? Because it's cold. Like I said, I'm freezing to death if I don't keep myself warm. Where is the opening video? You said there would be an opening video soon. What? What are you talking about? Opening? You mean an unboxing video? Like the two that already went up? Is that what you're talking about? Because that Pickle Rick was an unboxing video. And then last week there was the my girlfriend says I look like One Punch Man. That was another unboxing video. If that's what you're talking about. Is Knight okay in Ultra Tower? Yeah, you can use Knight. Knight already got his rework despite what people constantly keep saying about Knight needs rework. Like, no, he got his rework. He's good. You can actually use him uh, fairly efficiently in Shadow Towers. Uh, please do more videos on builds 2018-2019. Uh, well, the thing is, there's not really any reason for me to make new build videos. I mean, I guess I could just for the sake of having an updated one. But it's like, there's no real reason for me to have updated build videos outside of just having it as a more recent upload. Because nothing's really changed with uh, the other characters since the last build videos I've already had, right? You haven't pronounced my name right, but that's okay. Well, that's how it's spelled. I don't know. Cow. Cow. Chow. Clown. I don't know. Like, what's the silence abbreviation that's going on here, man? <laughs> you gotta give me a hint. Do one on Boomer. Oh. Um, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, I do need to do, like, I don't worry, guys. I do want to have kind of a uh, last video that close off, uh, closes off the year where I'm going to do kind of a quick review of all of the characters, and then I'll have individual videos of each of the characters, kind of talking about their pros and cons and which ones haven't gotten their reworks yet, just so that people that are just coming into the game kind of have a better understanding, don't get to siphon through, like, years-old content, you know? I, I, I do have that on my agenda, so don't worry. And then there's also... Um, uh, I do also have to do an updated gem tutorial because the gems have changed quite a bit uh, more so than the gems changing it's that I have a better understanding of how we actually talk about them or how to actually talk about them but again I'm, I'm kind of waiting for you know 
I'm kind of waiting for whether or not we're going to end up getting U10 this year because that'll end up uh, kind of changing the gems ever so slightly with the new additions, right? Your thoughts on the Goku costume for Vanguard? That thing's old, unless you're talking about a newer one. In which case, yes, I, I approve. He is Goku, pretty much. What the? I've never seen this generation. To be fair, I've only gone through this dungeon maybe like a couple times. There's no real fi uh, fast way to do this dungeon, though. That's the problem. Like, compared to most of them where you can just blast into them, this one, it's like, you gotta, you pretty much just gotta play it verbatim. Because I'm pretty sure even right now we're, like, way underground, so it takes too, bom too many bombs to actually get into it. Uh, the Night Class Gem seems useless. No, that is single-handedly what makes the character useful. It does a lot of damage. The thing that's kind of annoying about it is that once you get your class gym with the knight, that's pretty much all you do is you just spam your Hadouken over and over and over again. But when they ended up doing the rework to the knight, they made it so that you had a lot of more movement with it and stuff, because otherwise you didn't. How'd you walk through the flamethrower without catching fire? I don't know, lag or because of skill? Probably because of skill. <laughs> Not really. Um, is Scythe the One Punch Man Lizard? Yeah, kinda. Except I don't do his training regiment, I do different things. I mean, I guess his training would work. I, li I, I liked that though, where it's like, that's just standard body training! But it's like... Working out every single day though, that that is not something that is uh, really good. You can do it, don't get me wrong, but you gotta take, uh, you, you gotta do, like, quite a few changes to your regime in order to actually get away with that. Because you gotta speed up your recovery time as fast as possible. Tom, thank you. Finally. You guys let me know. He. My PTS won't open. Dev said later October, early November. Well, apparently you didn't catch the memo. Yikes, FPS. But, uh, that was before all of the developers got laid off. Because GameAgo is now in charge, and there's only, like, maybe ten people working on this game now. So, <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen with the future of this game. We've gotten kind of a bit of information from the devs mentioning here and there about, here's our plans, but we haven't really seen any plans taken in action. I mean, the hotfix hitting is kind of nice, but unfortunately, it's absolutely broken. Double leg event? Yeah, did you guys notice that in tier 5, you can actually, like, I don't know what piece of code they broke. Clearly, these guys don't know what they're doing. Um, you can actually find zero eggs in a layer in tier 5, which, that's funny, because layers are supposed to always guarantee have a drop. Like, seriously. Um... The comments videos are why I got mod because of the pixel art I made was the reason. Well, that's not entirely the reason. <laughs> it's because you applied yourself to the community. I saw you in lots of the streams and stuff. And generally speaking, knew you were a trust enough guy, I see, that I could count on you to destroy uggles in the chat. That's that's pretty much why. Like the fan art. It, it helped because it kind of showed you were like really wanting to be a part of the community for sure going the extra mile But uh, I wouldn't say that's the sole reason I Accidentally destroyed half of my rally hero blade So I wanted to replace it, but I said uh, I have to wait until the heroes leave Until they left I still what I still can't replace it. You're scaring me You're really scaring me man how to find eggs in Geode? In the layers, apparently. Do you have a Switch? Yes. I have a series of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That should be obvious enough that I have a Switch. Wait, wasn't that on like... Yeah, that was on the Wii U, wasn't it? Ugh. Was it? I don't know if it was. Honestly, I don't remember. I love... Like, why, why Nightbot? Why is Nightbot not updated? Like, Nightbot is not doing, like, I've changed all of the messages that Nightbot says, and for some reason, it, on YouTube, it's still showing, like, all of the old messages. I don't know what that is. 
like maybe I gotta log out of Nightbot and then log back in as YouTube specifically or something? Like, I don't know, dude. It's being dumb. Dummy, dummy, dumb. Hee hee. Uh, where should we go? Let's go for the three star. Do you have a mechanical keyboard? I don't know. Aren't all of them mechanical? I don't know what that means. I have one of the Razer light up keyboards because I had, um, I had an old Microsoft, like I think it was a 2006 model keyboard uh, and I really liked it. It was like a comfort curve. Maybe it was from 2000 actually, but it was discontinued. So it was really, really expensive to buy a new one. And then when I bought the new one, for some reason I started having like all of these technical issues that I'd never dealt with with my other keyboard. My older one just, you know, the space bar actually fell off and stuff. But it sucks because I was, you know, that was the only keyboard I ever used. I used that keyboard for like 15 years and it worked just fine. And then here I bought a newer one and nope, it sucked. So now I swapped over to just a Razer keyboard just because I got to get used to it. Uh, yeah, I can't find getting the change payment method. I'll just redo it. Yeah, okay, Jen. I... I don't know, dude. Like, I it, when it comes to YouTube, they're still, like, so confusing and stupid in their explanation of things. Like, they actually suck. Um, I'm not going to, by the way, I'm not going to end up playing Smash. I'm sure you guys are curious about that, but no, I'm, I have no interest. Looks like a good game, and I would play it. Honestly, I would. But, um, with all the mishaps going on with all the Trove stuff, uh, I can't really... It kind of sucks. I can't really afford to have a series that is going to end up getting copy striked by Nintendo over and over. Not to mention, screw Nintendo. I don't like them. <laughs> like, it's just, it's too stupid. And it's like, even even being a part of the Nintendo's creative program, it's like, you, you don't make anything off of it. Not to, you know, I, I don't want to give the impression that I'm only playing these games for the money. But really, it's like, if if you could work at McDonald's for free... Or you'd have to, or you'd, uh, you know, have to be in the back and, like, do a little bit of extra work to end up getting paid. I mean, what would you do, you know? <laughs> uh, what competition? You mean Smash competition? Eh. I could care less. I'm not very good at being competitive in that game, honestly. It's still cool how they have so many characters, though. Like, it definitely seems like the definitive Smash Bros. experience. That's for sure. Thanos should be in it. That that would actually be hilarious. Then they'd really be in on the meme. But there's too many things they'd have to go through with that. Not to mention, it's a Japanese company, so... They're, like... Like, it's like even all the DLC characters. You know it's gonna be from other Japanese companies. Like, they're gonna be very hard-pressed, like... They'll, I, I don't think they'll ever add Master Chief. They're probably not going to add Banjo-Kazooie because despite Microsoft saying that they'd be okay with that, we're talking about Nintendo here. They want all the profits for themselves. They're just as bad as Microsoft. Except they actually work on their games. <laughs> uh, Nightbot just tagged me. What? Oh, because someone said I, GN. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stella! My tome's done, you guys. And Waluigi. Yeah, I, I'm expecting they're going to probably, like, surprise everyone with Waluigi. Because, I mean, for crying out loud, they have a piranha plant. Like, where, where's Waluigi if they've got a piranha plant? Like, that's just... That's just being mean at this point. You know? <laughs> what if they had a Thanos character to troll? Oh, I... I mean, it's too bad that even the modding community is just kind of dead right now for Trove. Because I, I mentioned that as soon as all of that stuff ended up happening. I want I wanted somebody to make a mod of the Vanguard uh, and make the fist weapons invisible so that they could make one of the character's hands uh, the Infinity Gauntlet. Because then we could have Thanos as the Vanguard. But I, unfortunately, don't mod anymore. Because it's boring. And it's like... I don't know. I don't really have and not it's not that I don't have incentive. I just don't really care. Like I don't really want a mod anymore. It's too slow a process and it requires too much logging in and it's it's too time consuming, man. Like I just I don't know. But I want that. I want Thanos in this game. Uh 
Geno. Didn't they add Geno as like a support trophy or something in Smash? If I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, honestly speaking, like Mario RPG, though beautiful, uh, I don't think that game's necessarily relevant. So Nintendo doesn't really care. Like that's kind of a game from, you know, years ago when being younger. It's not really uh, a game that's relevant right here, right now. You know what I mean? What I'm mostly hoping for is I hope that the devs actually talk about, like, the Trove devs. They, they got to tell us when when is the stupid update coming out, man. Where's U10? You can't just keep hinting at it, you know? You got to actually, like, tell us straight. But uh, as far as today, I got to not only get um, the Lexian video, I got to get a patch notes video for MapleStory because quite a few things have changed with that. Uh, there's a new event that's going to be going on, which uh, it's not really an event. It's kind of a log in and get a bunch of free items, right? So you guys are going to want to sign up for MapleStory if you haven't already. It's a free game, by the way. I need to make that a video too, apparently, specifically saying MapleStory's free because for some reason, nobody seems to know. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm still expecting that U10 is going to come out sometime in December. Either that or early 2019. And I mean really early 2019, because otherwise there's no excuse. I mean, Trove, unfortunately, is just getting less... Like, it's the l least relevant it's ever been. You know? Just kind of sitting here waiting. Can you explain Geode Phase 3? Okay, so here's the Geode Phase 3. Geode Phase 1 was the caves. Geode Phase 2 is U10. Geode Phase 3 is cancelled. Geode Phase 3 was not developed enough at all that they can release it. Whereas U10 is pretty much finished. That's why it's still coming out. I really don't know what they're waiting for. Like, it's finished as far as I'm concerned. And it's going to have bugs. So it's like, just, just give it to us. It's, it's going to crash. It's fine. That's sad that you have to make a video to show a game is free. Yes, I know. Like, this is this is the state of the world. Is people don't check this stuff at all. Like, it's like nobody just checks for themselves anymore. For crying out loud, I had this one idiot uh, make a comment on my Cube World video saying how, like, I'm unsubscribing from your channel because you're not making troll videos anymore. And it's like, if you took two seconds to actually look at my channel, you moron, I'm having troll videos still continuously coming out every single day. Like, man alive. To be fair, I know YouTube sucks. Like, you don't get notified. Even when you hit that, like, you know, they, they have subbing, which apparently doesn't do anything to a channel these days. They have the notification bell, which apparently even that isn't doing anything anymore. Like, I don't know what is wrong with the people over at YouTube. Like, it's like, dude, you guys do realize that when people sub, like, I want to see more of their content. Now, what I do, apparently nobody does, is I, I go to my YouTube channel and then I can see a list of all of the channels that I'm subbed to, right? So I can see which ones actually have new videos. But that's the thing is it's like, nobody does that. I do it because I'm a YouTuber. So I'm constantly checking out my own channel, but everybody else, it's like, you're, you know, you're logging in on your phone and it doesn't default to your channel page. So it's like, yeah. Uh, how do I have Luxian? Cause I ended up doing the Luxian is missing event and you can buy his, uh, last souls right now uh, i don't know if we'll have time to get all these tomes today by the way guys because i do legit like I, I i got my trip next week right so you can expect to see a vlog at some point uh about that but i'm gonna be gone for like five days pretty much this whole week i'm gone uh whole next week and so because of it i really gotta get on the ball with like stocking up and recording and stuff so that i can have all these things kind of pre-uploaded for you guys because otherwise i've got nothing that's why, like, today, I want to do uh, lots and lots of Spyro so that I can have that as a daily series, at least while I'm gone. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with Trove. Like, I have nothing stocked up for Trove. I guess I could do those class tutorials. Maybe. I don't know. Something quick and easy, you know. 
but when it comes to guides, those aren't necessarily quick and easy. But there's not really anything going on with Trove, so it is a high possibility uh, that I might not have many Trove videos come out next week, just saying, until I end up getting back. Just giving you guys a heads up. Um, they added a reptilian budget Bowser instead of Waluigi. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Icy? You mean the piranha plant? Is that budget Bowser? Is that what you call him? Because that's hilarious. I like that. Oh, no. Ah! Why are you guys taking the legit way when you can just blast right in? You guys got dragons, right? Come on. Where was, uh, there was something over here. Was that a dragon boss? No, it is not. Okay, well, forget it. Let's go to the three star. <laughs> Why are you guys yelling at me for my tome? The YouTube s stream is like so delayed, dude. I don't understand the new developer thing. Aren't they doing anything or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. The new devs of Trove are doing things. There was a lot of red tape for them to go through, obviously, because now there's a new company in charge. Uh, but the fact that we had, we just had that hotfix, that, that just goes to show that these guys are actually like already at the process where they're starting to work. Now, that said, like with the U10 update, apparently it was 90% complete. I'd say it's just done. I don't know what they're waiting for. But I'm guessing that there's a bunch of code and stuff that they gotta get prepared before U10 comes out. And they're very understaffed now, so things are gonna be slow. Um, after the U10 update, what they've planned to do and said that they're gonna do is they're gonna have um, smaller updates coming out more regularly rather than bigger updates taking uh, the course of a couple months. Uh, and then we're going to end up seeing these updates come out over time on console rather than right away day one like the console version of trove is not going to be in sync with pc anymore which i think is fine despite the fact that console players get salty about it it's pretty standard you know i mean hopefully they don't take too long like you look at something like warframe fortuna and it doesn't take them that long to get on console but that's a pretty big update, as opposed to with Trove. I mean, these guys are understaffed. They don't really know what they're doing. Uh, I don't mean they don't know what they're doing in regards to Trove. I just mean in general, like, they're not they're not the tightest uh, developers of ev any company. You know what I mean? But I'm still very curious to see what is in store for Trove's future because of the fact that we've got these new developers you know like these were guys that were one of them was the, like one of the producers uh you know and a couple of them are just coders and now they ended up getting bumped up because everybody else ended up getting laid off so it's like are, are these are these guys good enough that they can be the lead developers you know clearly we know that they can't they can't at all do anything for their live stream like that was embarrassing they they clearly had no professionalism they weren't prepared at all for that but live streaming is different, you know. It's it's not it's not the same thing, uh, you know. And also, these guys kind of rushed to have that live stream. Obviously, they didn't have anything prepared. But the fact that they've already put out some team letters and community letters, and every single one of them just keeps saying, "Yeah, we can't really talk about anything right now, but we'll talk about it uh, soon." And then they put out like a newsletter and stuff, and it doesn't talk about anything. Like it seems like they're just up to their same old dumb tricks of, "Oh, we're not gonna give you guys any spoilers," and it's like, "This is your job, to build hype." We're not talking about a game that's like in alpha or anything anymore. You guys have to talk about these updates, for crying out loud. That like. With Trove, this this would be a prime example. It would be like the devs not talking about Fortuna in Warframe until a month before it's released. That's the mentality of these Trove developers. And it's just it's so confusing to me, dude. Because it's like, no, you guys are supposed to talk about this way ahead of schedule. Not talk about, well, it's not ready yet. Like, you can talk about it at the beginning of the year and have it come out later. But that said, if, if they just move on to having their smaller updates and having them more frequently, then I don't care whether they talk about it. Just give us updates every month, you know? Then I'm fine with that. We, we wouldn't even need that on the test server, I'd say. Like, just give it to us. Because if they can put out hotfixes again, 
uh, for fixing like the brokenness of these said updates, then hey, we're we're fine. You know, some guy's freaking out about a greater dragon cache. He ended up getting a dragon out of it. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. The luck is strong with this one. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should just flip the market till I get two mil to buy the Vanguard, or should I just farm it? I'd recommend you buy it. Because, uh, here's the difference, dude. It's, like, two mil to, uh, buy the, uh, credit pouches in order to end up getting him. Or you spend, like, I don't know, it's something like, it's a lot more. Like, it's a lot cheaper to just buy it for credit pouches. It really is. Like, the in-game resources that are required are insane. Not to mention the sentient shards that you need. Because you need 60 of them. Remember that. And that's time-gated. So, it's just always better. Man, you guys remember this dungeon in the early episodes of Trove? Like, in the early episodes of the Trove series, now we actually, like, know how to get through it. But it's like, dude, the good old days. Trove was so exciting then. Like, there was no gem system. You only had a couple jump. <laughs> oh, man. It was so basic. But in that regard, it was so nice, you know? Like, I, I do genuinely miss the old Trove days. Uh... Uh, Scythe, how did you get the hat you're wearing? Uh, I bought it from a store. It's a Pikachu hat. I just don't have a, a better hat, unfortunately. What the? Like, I would actually rather just have a plain uh, black hat. Instead of it saying Pokemon on the front, but... <laughs> it's just, it's all I've got. The only other hat that I have is some Batman one, and I bought that one as a joke because of how stupid it was. That's a problem, like, even with this one. I like this hat, don't get me wrong, but I can't turn it around and have it face forward. Otherwise, it, uh, like, it's yellow, so the green screen gets caught, and then I have, like, an invisible head. See? Invisa head. Kind of. It's not that bad, really. I thought it would be, well, it is pretty bad. <laughs> but there you go! Invisible head. Um, me too. I've been playing Troll for three years. Yeah, man. Like, Troll back in the day had so much potential. Even now, it still has potential, but it's never going to be met so long as these guys are in charge, honestly. Like, their ideas are just not... I, I don't know. I can't, I can't really say, though, because we don't know what the new devs are capable of. But honestly, it's like... We, we don't have, like, we don't have that many new updates, and U10 doesn't really have, like, you know, give it, give us some info about it, guys. Like. Wow, the Lexian loot is garbage this week. It'll be way more exciting than usual, right? Dude, seriously, like, I like how people get triggered. Like, people that just come to Trove don't know the history of the developers. And, yes, in their last live stream a couple weeks ago... They specifically talked about how good Luxian's inventory would be. Uh, they mentioned how he's also going to have a return during Boxing Week. Or, oh, you guys call it like Black Friday, that's right. But it's like, with that, I knew, no, he's not going to be a good inventory. Like, we're, ta we're talking about the Trove devs, man. These guys think that sentient shards are a good item because they're time-gated. Not, like, like, it's like, it's not a good item. It's not useful in any regard. It's just difficult to attain. And so, by that logic, it's a good item that he's selling. You know? Even the fact that he sells it for as many dragon coins as he does, it's, it's, like, it's expensive. It really is. It's just, is it expensive? Is it? Because it's time-gated garbage? Yes, I finally saw the Detective Pikachu trailer. I'm actually really hyped for that. It reminds me of uh, Get Ready Player One's quality. Like, it seems like it's over there. That's pretty darn cool, dude. To have an actual live-action Pokemon uh, movie. And to actually do it right and make it like a comedy. Especially with Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool, of all things. Just being Ryan Reynolds. Like... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so weird. Like, really. But it's like, it, it looked funny too, like with Mr. Mime and stuff, and oh gosh, those Pokemon look scary. And that little, that little hint that they had with Jigglypuff makes me think that it's like, Jigglypuff is, you know, singing in a nightclub or, or something, and it's like, doesn't like it, it's just because it likes singing. Like, it seems like it's kind of doing a little bit of the dark, realistic humor, and I, I really like that. Like, it seems really funny. I don't know why some of the Pokemon are, uh, hairy. It doesn't make any sense to me. And Mr. Mime looks actually terrifying. Like, that is, that is of nightmares. You remember, uh, what's his name from It, the dumb clown? Yeah, he's got nothing on Mr. Mime. Imagine Mr. Mime being there, like, you know, with like a mad face using telekinetic abilities to teleport around and get into people's dreams. Like, oh gosh. <laughs> well, I see. Well, now we know your real name. What? Scythe doesn't invite while live streaming. Yeah, sorry, I'm not inviting. Uh, Jan seems to be a baller and he's hanging out in Team Ploxel. So you guys can just be like, hey, can you invite me, man? So there you go. Which, thank you, Jan. Appreciate it. Pennywise, yeah, that's it. Man, didn't that movie, like, even though it was kind of popular, it just kind of came and went, didn't it? Because I don't even think... That that wasn't even, like, around Halloween when the It movie came out. It's weird. Movies lately have just been, like... I, I guess the same as memes. Like, I guess there's just so much popularity on all of these things now. It just comes and goes. It's the same as video games, too. Like, it's like, not only are games coming and going, but it's like the the industry is just so booming and crazy right now that because of it even game companies are just coming and going you know tom thank you domo arigato mr roboto appreciate you where is eh, we got a couple more dungeons over here uh we'll probably end up calling the stream after these dungeons honestly guys because i gotta get that luxian video out to you Hey, at least my hat's gonna be relevant with uh, Detective Pikachu, right? <laughs> I got it because it's cool. I like Pikachu. Honestly, I want this same hat, but with Mewtwo. Because Mewtwo was my favorite Pokemon. I would love if he made an appearance. But I don't think that he will. Mew might. I could see Mew showing up. But Mewtwo's got all that weird Team Rocket stuff going on. And it's like, eh, I don't know. Plus, they seem to be using the, uh, what's his name? Is it Green Ninja or something? The weird Merc the Frog. He's the one that seems to be the evil Pokemon. Which is kind of weird because there was so many of them. Like, okay. What the? Isn't there another dungeon here? I don't know. Anyways, let's go do this. Um. Toy Story 4 is coming out in June... Uh, I keep forgetting that that was, like, actually announced. That seems like a joke. I'm sorry, I don't care. <laughs> like, maybe I'll see Toy Story if my girlfriend's into it. But I really, like... Toy Story 3 was okay. I felt that it was a little bit, you know, trying to be a bit too deep. And it's like, what are they gonna do now? Like, is it just gonna be a reboot? Like, they're they're making too many Toy Stories, man. I I don't like it. I don't like it. So he is called Green Ninja. Okay. How can I pick up everything at once? Just hold the uh, pick up button. You can actually, too, I, I still haven't made a video on this, but if you go to the miscellaneous, you can choose which loot is the minimum that you pick up from that. So I have it set, so I'm only picking up Shadow and Up. Uh, I guess I'll give away all these Stellars to you, by the way, guys. Ooh, we got some dragon stuff. Is that because it's Dragon Day? Yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. Any of these? <coughs> Did I sneeze or yell? That was a really dry sneeze, actually. Oh, my gosh. I need to get some water in me. Oh, that hurt. Nothing came out. Anyways, come here in Team Ploxel, guys. I'll, I'll throw some Stellars in this chest. 
Um, I still want to see U10, though. Yeah, me too. I'm sure there will be a lot of bugs even after they finish. Oh, I know. I know. Like, it's going to be so broken. There, let me fix my head. <laughs> that sneeze is legend. You're scaring me, guys. Yeah, it's it's funny. It's like as I sneeze more and more, like I just get louder and louder. Which I fully expect that one day I will put my back out. Like when I'm like an old man and I sneeze, I will probably die. Look, guys. Garble's items. You're in Do Not Disturb. Yes, I am. You're absolutely right. I'll come out of d, &D. Don't worry. I'm not going to put stuff in the chest right away. I, I like waiting until there's a bit of a crowd going on, so it's kind of even fair, right? Can I join Team Pixel? Uh, probably. Uh, I don't really have time to do invites, unfortunately, though, because I need to, you know, I, I need to do this uh, and finish this off, and then I got to get that Luxian video out to you guys as soon as possible. I was talking about the replacement for Bowser in the Super Mario TV show. What? Oh, dude, if that was a character in Smash, I'd be down for that. Do a video on sneezing. No, I'm not Markiplier. I don't make boring videos of me eating a banana. And then get millions of views. I wish. I wish. If I did a video eating a banana, no one would care. That'd be stupid. Say, please, eat cereal. Like, I, I hope that... I hope one day I'm fortunate enough... That I could ever become a big time YouTuber and then I could lose my mind too and put out like uh, quality content like that. Make thousands of dollars just by sitting there and doing like the stupidest thing ever. Okay, good enough. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop. There we go. That's all of them. They're gone. Hee hee. Anyways, guys and gals, thanks for coming out. Really appreciate you. Ah, I gotta get that Luxian video out as soon as possible. So uh, I'm gonna be rushing back into Do Not Disturb. Uh, and then I need to, I, I don't know, I need to look at what I gotta do. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna have some breakfast first. And then get to work. Because I gotta start recording some more stuff. Uh, in either case... Thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. As always, don't forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell. Because... We all know that it doesn't do anything anymore. Uh, and then otherwise, if you want to support me, you can always sponsor the YouTube channel with that join button. Gives you some custom emotes and access to a specific chat in the Discord, etc., etc. There's also my real-life merch in the description, and there's a link to Gawkbox, which is where you can donate to me for absolutely free. You just download phone games, play them for a bit, you get money, you send it my way in the form of stickers, which can actually end up showing up in the live streams, too. Cool, huh? Sign on, stay epic, everybody. End stream.